Hello artists. For today's lesson, we're going to be learning a little bit about the artist Pablo Picasso, and we're going to be creating a mask using the style that he used in some of his paintings. You're going to be able to take cardboard from boxes that you might be recycling at home, like this, empty boxes, and we're going to turn that cardboard into a mask. Our project is based on the artwork of Pablo Picasso. Remember him? A child prodigy who went to art school at the age of 11, he mastered the realistic style of painting by the time he was in high school. In search of a new challenge, Picasso experimented with a variety of different color palettes and styles of painting. Together with another artist, Georges Braque, Picasso launched the Cubist art movement. Rather than portraying an object realistically, Cubism breaks it down into geometric shapes and combines multiple views of the object from different angles. This strategy is really noticeable in Picasso's portraits of women. We're using that artwork as a launching pad. To start our mask project, you're going to need a pair of scissors and you're going to need a couple of boxes. You um, you might have boxes that you your family is recycling or throwing away that they don't need. I would just recommend checking with your family before you cut anything apart. Make sure it's okay with them. If you have boxes that came from something maybe that came in the mail, those are fine too. Sometimes that cardboard is a little bit thicker though and it might be a little trickier to cut. So. We're going to cut these apart, and I already cut a little bit apart right here. So the bigger piece I have is going to be for the base for my mask. You try to have at least one piece that's roughly this size. Um, it's a little bigger than my hand. You could um, even maybe use the side of a cereal box if that's something your family doesn't need anymore here. You could do a shape that was more of a circle. You could draw a shape that was more rectangular. You could change that rectangle and maybe make it come down and be a little skinnier as it got to the bottom. Or you could flip it and have the skinnier part at the top and have it come down on an angle diagonals. Um, you could also create a shape more of an oval. You could have a shape that looks a little bit like a peanut with your own. So go ahead and create the basic shape of your mask. I'm going to draw mine on here and then I'm going to be cutting it out. And now I'm going to be working on the different facial features. When Picasso would paint his pictures, he would have different angles showing at the same time. So you wouldn't just see two eyes staring straight forward and a nose that came forward and a mouth. They would be positioned differently, as if you were seeing different angles all at the same time. So you're going to start with your scraps that you have. And it doesn't matter where you start. If you wanna start with the nose, the mouth, the eyes. I'm gonna start with the eyes, um, but you can start wherever you would like. You need to think about what kind of shape you want for the eyes. I'm gonna go ahead with a line that looks like a um, frown and then a line that looks like a smile. And I'm gonna cut that shape out. And if I'm happy with that shape, I could possibly trace it again. I like that. So I'm gonna trace it again for the other eye. Um, this. That way I only have to draw it once. And I'm 
going to cut this out. So I'm not going to just put them on like that though. I'm going to change the angle of one of them. So I, I do kind of like that. I'm just going to kind of lay it all out right now and then I'll work on gluing things down later. So now I'm going to create a nose. And there's a lot of different ways you could do a nose. I'm not sure. I think I'm going to try one like this. And then I'm going to cut it out. So I need to think about the mouth. And I like this piece. I think I'll use this. And I think I'm gonna create lips. So I'm gonna draw two bumpy lines. I might even make this come apart into two pieces. And then I'm going to cut this out. Like this. So there's the top lip. Oh, it looks like a mustache. Hey, you could make a mustache for your mask person has a mustache. So here's the lips and I like I kind of like it where they ended up. I might just turn it a little bit on an angle but I like that. Now I think I want another layer for where the iris and the pupil would be. So I'm going to create another layer with another piece of cardboard. And I'm using all my scraps. That's the great thing about this project. You can use lots of the little scraps for the different pieces. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna see, see I can even flip it so you can kind of see it better. I like that, that's a good size. So I'm gonna trace it again, because I don't need to cut or I don't need to try to draw it again and match it exactly, I can trace it and then I know I'll have the right size. So I'm gonna cut this one out. I'll move that back over a little bit. Okay, <laughs> that one has a barcode. That's kind of funny. Now, if you like the print that's on the other side of what you cut out, you can use it, that's fine. Um, some of the pieces, I know some of mine had a really pretty print that was on my tissue box, see that? That would even be pretty. I wonder if that's on the back of the eyes. Oh, it is, see? So if I wanted to, I could even use that. It's up to you. So I have that, and then what else are we missing? What else would a face have on it? Well, you might have eyebrows, right? So you could cut them or you could draw them first and then cut them. I'm gonna cut one and then I will trace this one. Too. But don't forget, when you trace it, if it's an eyebrow, you're going to want to flip it over when you do the other side, the other eyebrow. So it'll be going the right, whoops, going the right direction. Let's see, there's one, 
I might turn it this way. And then this one. I could even lower this eyebrow a little bit, or the whole eye, and then do that. All right. And then I need to think about ears. All right. I think I'm going to use a line like a C, and then I'm going to just draw a line there to close it off. I'm going to cut it out and see if I like it. Yeah, I like that. So I'm going to look and see if I have another piece of cardboard. I'm going to trace this on here so I have another ear. There's that ear. There's this. Okay. And then the last thing you're going to do is you're going to create hair. You could even do a little beard, or like I said earlier, you could do a little mustache. Um, you could add eyelashes. Any other little details that you might think of. Go ahead and do that, and then I will be back in just a minute. We're gonna use our markers or our crayons to color in the different parts of our project. So I'm gonna slide this over just a little bit. I would recommend having a piece of paper down on the bottom, like I have this piece of cardboard, because it just protects whatever surface you're working on, even if it's just an extra piece of paper. And then we're gonna use some markers, crayons. Colored pencils might work okay for this. Um, crayons or markers would probably work better. I think I may use a combination. So there's one lip. I'm gonna do the other lip. And you don't have to use realistic colors for this project either, just so you know. You can use any kind of colors that you want. So if you want your person's nose to be orange, it can be orange. Or if you want it to be uh, polka dotted, <laughs> purple polka dots, you could do that too. It's your choice. I might do kind of a zigzag, or not a zigzag, I'm sorry, a diagonal. Yeah, I like that. Now, if you don't like the color of the cardboard that you have um, underneath, like mine's white, it's kind of plain. If I wanted to, I could use marker or crayon to color that in too. See how when I'm doing this, some of the purple gets on my cardboard underneath. It's a good thing I have it there to help protect my table. Although, honestly, my table gets kind of messy anyway, because this is my art desk. But you might be sitting somewhere else in your home that shouldn't really get messy, so I would just be careful. Mm. I don't think I want that color. I think I'm going to use green for this year. So you're going to keep coloring it. And please don't feel like you have to make yours the colors that are, use the same colors as I, I'm using. You do not. I would much rather see you use your imagination, have fun with it, add your own ideas to it. Know if this pink will show up, but we're gonna try it. Oh, it looks a little bit reddish, but that's okay. 
you can always test out how a color is going to look on one of your scraps. I'm going to work on the hair. See the hair? The hair is just a part of the cracker box that I had. And you don't, if I glue it down about here, you're only going to see the top. So I don't have to color in all of it. I really could just color in the parts you're gonna see from the front. Hmm. I might make this multicolors, multicolored. That might be fun. And I'm gonna try, I think I'm gonna do a blue eyebrow. Now, I kind of like the brown for the eyes, um, and I do kind of like the back um, of those too, or maybe even just that one because of the design on it. I don't know if I want the barcode, so I might actually make this one, or maybe I'll make this a color. Or what I might do is, I think on this one, I may draw the iris which is the color part of the eye. And then I think I'm gonna go ahead and draw a pupil, which is the black part of the eye. Once you have all of that done, you're gonna need to glue it down. I'm gonna try using my glue stick with this. If you find that a glue stick isn't working as well, you may need to use a glue bottle but we're gonna try to use this since this is what I happen to have. Okay, I'm gonna slide that on. Now, what I would do is I would push it down and I would count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And that will probably help to hold it in place. And then we're gonna work on placing the, whoa, the other parts of our face on. Okay. Now, what I can do when that's all done is if there's anything else that I want to add, I can add it now. Like if I wanna take a marker, I can add little eyelashes or big eyelashes. Um, I could add another pupil here. I could, this isn't going on as easily because the cardboard's waxy. So I could just cut one out and glue it on too. That might work better. So, oh, I'm gonna do a little line here for the ears too, just to give it a little bit. Woo! He's losing his ear. It's like a Mr. Potato Head with the ear coming out. <laughs> and there you have it. I hope you had fun learning about Pablo Picasso and his cubist and abstract portraits that he would like to make. And I hope you had fun turning cardboard like this into a fantastic mask like this. <laughs>